Hey, it's Brickzar. I am both sick, literally, and figuratively. If you don't know what that means, literally means I am sick. Uh, the pollen's really bad down here in Georgia, and as I get older, it seems to bother me more and more. I have a sore throat, so I may sound funny, so I apologize for that up front, uh, but I'm not going to let it stop me. Never let. You know, I told a guy at work I was going to stop going to work when I'm, I was sick, but I still go to work. And I am sick figuratively as in a figure of speech or an illustrative uh, way. Uh-oh. I forgot to turn that mic down. <laughs> so, my audio is working, which is good. So, um, I have this package from eBay, and we're going to be showing it to you. And I'll just tell you up front, and um, our moderator can let you know if it's after this, but I'm not going to be looking at the comments until a little later. Uh, after we get through this package, so hang in with me. Um, this is from eBay, and it's a rather large box. And my heart sunk when I went to the post office to pick it up. They wouldn't leave it at the house. I had to go to the post office to pick it up. And when I got it, it had this red stamp on it. And the guy was, he, the first words out of his mouth was at the post office, the postal clerk. He said, the contents are missing. And I was like, what? You bring it, is, that, is the box empty? And then he shook it, and it wasn't empty. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but it had all the, the bad checks. It was unsealed, without contents, in a damaged condition. <laughs> ah, I was like, yeah, he was like, five, we strive for five-star service. All right, I don't know how much of this tape here was added by the post office. Uh, apparently, some pieces did fall out. There's a little Lego piece there. There's a hole there in a hole here so maybe a few pieces only felt uh, I don't know I did have them weigh it and the the weight on the shipping label was 12 pounds and 14 ounces and it weighs 12 pounds and 15 ounces so it apparently gained an ounce <laughs> so maybe it's not going to be as bad as I thought but I thought we would do this on camera so I'm going to go over there and open this thing up I don't normally do a haul of this nature live uh, because it's it's got in in here will be 15 hopefully boxes of sets partially complete unknown completeness uh, from eBay I bet Joey Jones seen this on eBay um, but it had a uh, about three sets that I really wanted, uh, and at least half of these sets I already have. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'm going to sell the ones that I don't need. Uh, some of these I had, but I didn't have the boxes, so I definitely won't box the sets because uh, these are all vintage. All right. Ooh, okay. Here we go. There is the note from the seller. And I, I did contact the seller, and they were super cool. They're, I mean, they're willing to work with me. I'm anticipating that it's not going to be as bad as I thought when I first went to the post office. They actually did do a good job of packing it. I think, um, and this seller is somebody who doesn't specialize in selling Lego. They actually, if you go to their eBay page, they sell a lot of uh, clothes. So there's a whole different technique to packing when you got clothes versus Lego. And um, so... We will see. Doesn't smell like cigarette smoke, so that's good. And it appears that it may have completely come open, and then the post office put stuff back in there. So I can't imagine who packed it in this order. But let's get to it. We will start with some you've already seen on this channel. This is set 343. I wonder if I got that where I can see it. Yeah, okay, you can see that. I need to pause this. This is a train set, actually. <laughs> it's a ferry. It's a boat ferry, but it has a... Uh, it's, it's got the most important piece. Yeah, the, the base plate is the rarest piece. Actually, it's got many rare pieces in here, uh, including the hinges, the Lego... Got these hinges, the Lego logo built there. So I'm not gonna 
well in there. The Lego logo brick and the hinge bricks. So I do not know um, how complete it's going to be. Wouldn't it be amazing if it was 100% complete? So that is good. It had, it had the main pieces, it appears. I need to not take all this stuff out. This could be a loud and noisy live stream. I also wanted to mention at the end of this, uh, when I get to responding to your comments, those that endure to the end, so I don't know how long this is going to be, I want to talk a little bit about um, shout-outs. Shout-outs, I'll leave that right there. All right. Next up, we have set 001. Not the first numbered Lego set. Um, Mardi Gras Man has a back question that I do want to answer. He talks about what is the first numbered Lego set. Uh, this is a Samsonite set 001. It's not the first numbered set uh, because there were sets that were numbered that came out the year before this, years before this one did. I think it's interesting. These old boxes were Lego logo. I like the old Lego logo, but they also use Lego with lowercase EGO on <laughs> these. And this is actually a fairly common set. Looks like it's pretty much complete. Um, the wheels are in actually pretty good shape. These usually are totally dry rotted, whether you uh, use them or not. So that is the gear set. Another set already had. So both sets there we already had, we already reviewed. Here is another one. Whoa. And this is, um, since this seller is not um, familiar, uh, not a person that deals with Lego, they just put everything in the box and shipped it. And it's like, me personally, if I was shipping a set like this, I would put everything in little baggies because this is what happens. The pieces tend to, to come out. Um, see if I can open this without ripping the box more than it is. Oh boy. Those pieces are often broke. Whoa! Wait a minute. Huh. Alright, there we go. Thing looks practically new. Wow, even the, the white pieces. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Those turntables are they're practically new. These plates, this, the printed pieces, it's amazing. Ah, I am not sick anymore. All right, so I already got like four of these. This might be actually the best condition one I have as far as the pieces. This is amazing. These are all, they all seem to be period correct pieces. This is the battery box. The thing I got to be careful is... With this set is breaking the pieces. Uh, these don't appear to be the brittle blue blues. Got kind of a rounded stud though. There's a lighting element. I don't think that came in. This is another lighting element. I don't think that came in this set. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. So I'm not going to put the cover back on that. But again, pretty awesome. <laughs> a set I already had. So three sets I already had. Next up, another set we've already seen on this channel. It, well, you may not have seen it, but it's on the channel somewhere. It's set 363, the antique car. And don't know if it'll all be there or not. Looks close enough to me. All right. Uh, another thing about some of these old sets like this, the instructions are actually the box. So there are no separate printed instructions. The instructions are right on the box, so it's not missing instructions. Uh-oh. I wonder if these pieces went to it. They were laying there in the box. I'd be curious to know if the post office is the one that added the bubble wrap. All right. Uh, another piece that's laying stray. Another set we've already reviewed, but I do not have the box, is this truck. I forgot the number. 333. This is transport truck. It's for um, medium-sized kids, women, and men, but not for little kids. 
Let's look at this. Wow, the grays are not yellowed at all. And it does appear to have the instructions in there. Awesome instructions. Man, the doors. These are... This is incredible, the quality. Uh, it's really, 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 really good. The doors aren't all scratched up. I'm probably scratching them up more than they've ever been right now. This is great. So that is 333. So that's how many sets we've done. Five, and they're all sets I already have. So, but did not have the box for this one. So that's nice. All right, let's go to for another one that I already have. It's the block tower. This is another Lego train set. Uh, little boys can play with this, but not infants. <laughs> it's a little switching or interlocking tower. Set 340. Has the instructions. And this one has a, a rare base plate. And it does appear that the base plate is in there. And again, the pieces are in immaculate condition. And it's like you take something out and you can't put it back in. So why do I keep taking stuff out? Oh, this is good. It looks good. Close enough to me. So... Six, uh oh, don't want to do that. Six sets down. All things I've already had. Do I have anything else I've already had? Yes, I do. We got this, but set 152. This is, it's actually not really a train car. It's just a base to build you a train car. And it looks like this box got all taped up. So I do not know if I can open it. Ugh. Yeah, it is tape good. There we go. All right, there's the wheels and the bases. So this is the small train car. And these old, uh, in this time period, <laughs> those gray plates, they looked, um, they looked white when I used to look at the pictures of this, but those are gray. So another complete set, another one we already have. I haven't gotten anything new yet. What is up with that? Let's do another one we already have. Oh, this one's the one that some of the pieces fell out. This is a train station. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces laying on the bottom of this box. Some of them go to stuff we've already seen. All right. So this is one of the first LEGO train stations. I don't know if it is the first. Let me see something. Hold on a minute. Is my camera moving? I'm going to slide it down a little more. All right. All right, I had to adjust that. That's, that's better. I hope I, I hope y'all have been able to see stuff. They might be bricks could have come down here and yell at me. All right, again, she's got the rare base plate. I did not have the box of this set before. Has the instructions. Awesome. Don't know if this... With the tree, I'm um, never sure with this one. All right, so I took that out already. And now I have a boxed version. I actually have two of these already, so now i got three. Again, I want to say this is not the reason. All this is not the reason I bought this lot. So. so another set down. Everything we've already seen here on this channel. Let's get to something we haven't seen. Well... I don't know. Got this little set. <laughs> set 400. I think it's the bricks. No. Oh! <laughs> it's not. Oh, it's the, it's the signs. And some of these I don't think are Lego. Like, I don't think that's Lego. But, um. Oh, wow. It's a bunch of signs. These are the really old signs. <laughs> don't think I had this one with this all these signs. Wow. You got train crossings, do not enter, stop. Uh, no no hot dogs. What is that? Oh, no no turn. Um, lightning bolt. Parking. Oh, this is great. These little lights here, I don't know what these are. Pretty sure they're not Lego, but I always have to check before I start throwing stuff away or putting it aside. So that is awesome i get really excited all right all right here's one 
that we have another one that we already have that I did not have the box. This is one of my a review I did a long time ago. Uh, this old truck. I love the box. This kid. So now we got a boxed version of it. This one is a little dirtier. But uh, pretty much common elements in this one. So I got the two most important things. The box and the instructions. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Pretty good. Alright. Next up. Uh, I don't know. This is why I got to do my inventory. I don't know if I already had this one. Um, and this doesn't feel like it's got everything in it. Let me. Is it upside down? No. Nope, it does. It's uh, the mo the four and a half volt motor in blue. It's got uh, where you can adapt your trucks or your trains to motorize. It's the battery box, the motor, the wheels. It's even got traction tires on the wheels for if you use it on train. Not all of them have it, um, so it might be missing just those pieces. So looks to be mostly complete. But what's that? Oh, 102. Oh yeah, pretty sure I did not have that. I mean, I have the parts that are in it, but I did not have technically that set. So that's new. This one I did not have, but I mean, I did have, I should say. In fact, it hasn't been that long ago that we reviewed this. <laughs> and this one that was hard to build, this um, this windmill, looking at old instructions. Now I have the actual, pr oh, this is so much easier. Uh, the online instructions were kind of hard to read. And this is much better. These are the the quality is like it's more paperish than uh, the glossy, so that's a lot different. But I should scan these because it's so much easier to see what's going on here than the online versions that I had. Last time I checked, the Brick Factory website was down. I don't know if it's still down. Pieces are in mint condition. Wow. Pretty much. Why well, say mint? That's cellulose acetate. I'll never be able to build this. Oh, man. But that, again, these are things I get for the box. I love these vintage boxes. Awesome. There's more! Yes. All right, this one got all dumped out, and I think some of these pieces... This is set 10. This is one that I did not have. I'm just going to... This is what... I guess this is what the post office... This went to the train. Uh -oh. Hey. Ow! I think that's what happened at the post office. get to it get the pieces that fell are they lost forever they're lost forever oh, oh there he is oh. it's a rare one by two red brick okay all right so I think uh, these are a combination of a lot of those sets there um, there's more pieces in the box. I'll get them. This is a set I did not have. Set 10. Curious. How do you open this box? Let me push it out. I'll have to see if there's an online uh, version of these in instructions for this. I think this is one of those like universal type sets where it's just a bunch of random pieces and you build whatever you want to with it. It didn't really have instructions, so to speak. But that is set number 10, a set I did not have. So that is pretty cool. Alright. Now we get to the two items of the main items that I wanted in this lot. First one is this house. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is set 324. I wonder if it has the instructions. 
It's got a lot of tape on the box. <laughs> there, the, the instructions are taped, but it's got them. It's got the garage door. I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, uh, no car. There's no car. I do, did this come with a car? Yes. It should have had a black car. And I'll tell you what happens is that it, I've said it, uh, probably said it a hundred times. Is what happens is is very thoughtful people say, "Let's get all the non-Lego items out of the lot." And there's a HO scale car that's worth more than the whole lot. <laughs> Let's throw it away. You know they wouldn't want it. It's not Lego. Ah, it's not in there. It may not have been in there to begin with. Uh, the original owner may have broke it or did something. But I can live with that. I was hoping, so hoping that car would be in there. That this the black. I don't even know what kind of car it is. Alternate builds. Awesome. Well, that was disappointing. Last box is the number one reason I got this is the shell station all right so let me dump out the rest of this first. all right I think we got all the loose pieces so I don't know what pieces fell out of the box probably some minor small pieces but this is the main thing I wanted so I'll go look at this in a little bit more detail. Hopefully nothing broke. Special garage door with the yellow panes. There's the other one. See, I would not have packed this like this, but this, I'm telling you, the seller didn't know, and I probably should have said something to him, like, wrap that up. But um, it is the shell. HO scale tanker truck. Uh, I'm afraid to hold it. Whoo! <laughs> that is awesome. Alright, so I got the rare, rare garage doors. Whoa, here's another piece that can break easily. Oh, it's not broken! The shell sign. Oh, whoo! It's got the instructions. It's got a mint condition base. It's got another mint condition base. It's got the one by two shell printed piece. What else am I looking for? Do you know what I'm looking for? Yo. Oh, it's, they might be bricks. What the, you doing down here? It's got this shit. I saw the truck and I was like, whoa, yeah. chill out. No, no. It should be a two by four brick. And maybe they changed this. Oh, it's got the gas pumps. There should be two gas pumps. Oh, there's only one. And there's the... Oh, it's just a book. Alright, so... There's usually uh, some of the inventories, and I don't know what this instruction manual shows. We'll look at the instruction manual. But the, the shell brick on top is a 2x4 brick. Instead of a one by six, there's a one by six in here, but it, it's very possible they changed it, or either the person just put that in here. So we're missing one gas pump and the two by four brick, apparently. Oh wait a minute, just double checking. Oh, so that's not bad. Got the main rare elements right here. Everything else I think I can find. I'm pretty happy. Go to a lighting set there. So that is the Lego haul. I wanted that. I actually looked at buying this separate. Most people that are selling it are ones that have pieced it together, which means it's not complete. And I was able to get this. So what I can do is take the, the sets that I want, put those aside and then these other ones I might uh, 
complete them, make sure they're complete, and then sell them later. All right. You want to put that camera on me? Yeah. I got to see who's in the chat. You got to loosen oh, it yeah, first. Yeah, scare me for a second. <laughs> and then I'll just raise it up a little bit. I don't know if we're going higher. Okay, well. Do I need to squat down? Oh, no, no, it's good. I can sit down. Okay. How about if I sit down? I'll get, they might be Brick's chair. All right. Let's get to the comments now. To all those loyal people that have patiently lower it down. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> okay, I got it now. All right. So, is is it like way over my head? Is it still need to no, come no, down? No, no, no. It's good. It, sh it shows a lot too right here. If okay. Case you want to do something. All right. All right. So I want to thank everybody who watched this. I was really. Really, 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 really nervous about this. I, I was just had a bad feeling that maybe an entire set got lost, like the whole contents. Oh wait a minute, I forgot to count the sets. How many were there? How many sets were there? Um. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So everything, there were 15 sets. That's how many were in the lot. <laughs> so they were all there. Uh, hopefully the, I'm thinking the car that went with that house set, I'm thinking it wasn't ever in the lot um, to the seller who sold it. All right, before I get to the chat, one more thing. I get a lot of requests for shout outs, uh, especially during live streams. And lately I've been getting them on my videos. And I don't want to be, like I'm being a jerk. Remember I said before, I'm trying to keep everything positive. But let me tell you how this... I've done a video, whole video on this before. This is how it goes. Uh, people start a YouTube channel. They're not getting any views. They want to get views. Or they want to get subscribers. So they go to bigger <laughs> YouTube channels. And ask for things. And uh, I've had two this week ask for shout outs. And I go to their channel and I'm like, where's my shout out? I didn't say that on their channel, but I looked at their channel, and they don't even acknowledge anything. So, what I'm saying is, don't go to other people asking for shout-outs when you yourself are not doing them. So, that's the way I view that. And um, if you want to do a shout-out, or you want me to acknowledge something, hey, do a super chat on a live stream. That's a good way to get recognized and acknowledged. But let's see who is here that's real. All right, we got Sodor Bricks. Do you like Thomas? <laughs> we got Candy Dexman 33. We got Brick Logic Studio. Hey, man. We got Austin Brodzinski. We got Diesel Rail Car Productions Extra. Wait a minute, where's Diesel Rail Car? I, I, when I, okay, I, I, okay, okay. So what happened was you didn't delete him, did you? No, I didn't delete him. What I, I was just clicking through, and my phone started lagging out, and I accidentally tapped his thingy, and then I, and then when I was trying to tip out, tap out, it clicked, put user in timeout. Oh, so he's not but, in timeout now, is he? No, he's using his other account. I'm sorry, Dizor. I did not do that on purpose. I promise. I, it was my phone was lagging out, and I was trying to okay, leave. Okay, because we know... I, I, I should have added him as a moderator yeah. to begin with. We got Swamp Blocks, Duran 11... No, Duran Number 11 Productions. We got Bricks for Ziox. We got Making Minifigures with Max Brick Hunter, Dude Cool. And it's a, a Tazura P. Robbie Blocks, man, it's getting close. We're so close to Philly Brick Fest. Kyle Jones is here. Ethan Network. Lego Fun with Shane G. And I think we caught up. Uh, uh. All right. So, Mighty Bricks. Is it? Oh, that's yeah. the one. <laughs> Every time I see Mighty Bricks, I think, is that your other channel? Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Ranger 18 is another one that's been here a long time. So, Jags Martin. Jags Martin made some logos for us a long time ago, and we really appreciated that. So um, I'm thinking about redoing everything. Um, I want to have a non-trademark avatar, which means it can't be a Lego minifigure. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Um, I don't even like the name Brickzar anymore, but I can't really change that. 
Um, Patrick Ford is here. Man, I missed a lot of people earlier. So, um, thank everybody that watched this really, really, really long uh, live stream. That's pretty much all I had to say. Um, yeah, so we're going to be getting ready for Philly Brick Fest. I'm still doing the inventory on everything. And I'm really pleased that this haul turned out much better uh, than I first thought when I got that box from the post office. So, I don't know. Have you ever had an experience like that where um, either something was damaged, missing, package never arrived? Um, I thought this was going to be bad, but it turned out to be good. So, I've, all in all, with all the thousands of things we've either shipped out or had shipped in, I think we've done pretty good. So... Thanks, everybody. Diesel Rail Car Productions asked, am I going to do a, a, a thing on Trains Are Fun? I might. I don't know. I'll think about it. Hey, Spirit Particles is here. Mm -hmm. It says, you can't use Sig Figs when you get thousands of subscribers. <laughs> yeah. And it's really, you know, it's like with the, um, like, the Brick Fest and... Mm -hmm. um, What's the other thing? Phil, uh, no, um, Brick Fair. Fair yeah. yeah, they can't use like certain things that Lego has trademarked. So that's like the minifigure, certain stud combinations I think can't even be used. So I need to I need to come up with something and I'm just not creative, creative enough to do that. But um, yeah. Thank you for subscribing, everybody. Oh, Lego Freak is here. So... Awesome. So let's um, end it there. Hey, Ma Megan is here. And we will see you in the next video. We will be doing, like I said, updates on the collection. And then maybe one or two things might be leading into Philly Brick Fest. I don't know. We got, we're got we kind of uh, swamp. We're kind of behind. We're like way behind. Hey, Swamp Bricks. <laughs> see you in the next video. Oh, I gotta go over there and push the button. Oh, you mean do it for you? Push the button, Frank. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> we, push the button, we gotta Frank. get back, we gotta get back to doing these like mystery science theater mm -hmm. style. We're <laughs> so we're so excited that mystery science theater has put some episodes on um, Netflix. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we're just loving that. So, <laughs> and then we're looking forward to the new episodes as well. Yeah, push the button. Yeah, push the button, Frank. Mm -hmm.